What was Jerry Palm, though? I don't know, but I've heard more people bitch about this year's brackets than I ever remember in terms of just the the seating and where, where people ended up in the line, what line they were on. But Michigan State, as we talked about the path, you know what I don't think you or I said once or anybody texted in? Nobody said Izzo. Nobody said that this is Tom Izzo. This is where Tom Izzo does his work. And he's, you know, he, he had that reputation. He's got the one national title. He's got taking teams seated like this to the final four under his belt. So how much of a factor is he? Now, it feels like a lot of people think the game has passed him by and, you know, that he's, that he isn't what he once was and that he needs to, you know, get in the portal more. Um, but, but is Izzo still going to be able to take this team on a deep run? I mean, you never count him out. He does have the experience, um, but I, I think the percentage is so low. It's just doesn't, this doesn't seem like that tournament team that it doesn't have the makeup of the, of the team that, that has the run. It had Michigan state been shooting well this year. I'd say they can be dangerous, mm-hmm. but they haven't. They haven't shot free throws well. They haven't shot from three point line all that well. They're a mess on the interior when it comes to who gets the playing time and who do you lean on. They don't lean on any of those guys to provide really offensively um, in the middle. Malik Hall has been more missed than hit, I think, this year. So you're you're putting everything on Tyson Walker's shoulders, really. Uh, and, and maybe Jaden Akins because he's the other guy that can get hot and do something. But I just don't see the a big run in Michigan State this year. So I put that percentage that it's just Izzo at very, very low. He's gone to the Final Four twice as a five seed. He did it once as a seven seed. Last year they were a seven seed, and they upset Marquette in the second round uh, before losing to Kansas State in that wild overtime game. Wasn't that in New York? Um in uh, Madison Square Garden, that was a wild game. But you know, the he had a nine seed. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Last time he was a nine, they that was a team that lost to Kansas. They beat Miami of Florida in the first round, lost to Kansas uh, in the in the second round. I don't know the the team. Uh, probably the 2015 team would be the one that you would say you know was the last time he took a team like this. I mean, because you got your your one, two, threes, and fours. Those middle, those second round fodder teams, seven, eight, nine, and ten, that usually have to face one of the top teams on the bracket. He's been in that spot recently and won. I mean, he won with with the seven seed last year, lost with it as a seven seed two years ago, and then uh, was a seven seed, won in twenty fifteen as a seven seed. Uh, so he's you know he's been able to take a seed like this recently and do some damage yeah but that that team had some players that 2014 15 team mm-hmm. that, i mean you're talking Bryn forbes could light it up on the outside matt costello ended up getting hot out there and it was a brandon dawson team kenny goins it was a there was a denzel valentine was on that team he was a junior that year that was a, a decently talented team this team you look at it what do you say Tyson Walker and maybe Malik Hall. Yeah. I mean, I still think Jaden Akins catches fire. Is Xavier Booker explode? Is now the time? Well, if he gets the playing time. Great right now. Yeah. He's got to actually see the floor to explode and then he's got to stay on the floor. Um, But not likely, being that it's a guy who hasn't had a lot of playing time this, this is freshman year. The 2022 team was a five seed. No, I'm sorry. My bad. No, they weren't a five seed. That's that's my fault. Uh, anyway, there's there's some history here for for Izzo, but he's entered he's entered more recently than not not as a top seed. So, um, can they put it together at the right time? We'll see. I was looking at a story in the Athletic for the best bets as far as money value, and this guy thought Michigan State at plus twenty two hundred. Who's there? Is it Jeff Goodman for the Athletic? No, it's Austin Mock. Sorry. He likes Michigan State at plus 2,200 to get to the Final Four. Well, the 18th best odds to win the tournament, yeah. which is, I mean, it's a money thing, but it's interesting that a team that's in at the nine seed and some don't think belongs in a tournament, 18th best odds to win. 
to get to the next round or get to next weekend, they're plus 275, which actually I'm surprised they aren't better value than that because they'd have to beat North Carolina in Charlotte, North Carolina. And, you know, that that place is going to be packed with Tar Heel fans. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go do it, but it is going to be packed with Tar Heel fans. And that could be a problem for Michigan State. Kang, what's your take on Michigan State? What do you think? Well, I think you're hoping for the team that was the preseason team that was, you know, the, the expectations were that where they were. I said this before the, the Big Ten tournament. Of course, it was a disappointing year, you know, but the year wasn't over. And I knew there, I had a very good feeling they were going to get in. Not breaking news. A lot of people thought they were going to get in. They still had the whole, they still had everything in front of them. If they can go on and win four games or so, they can hang a banner. Like everything, you forget about the under, everything. yeah, everything else, the underperforming, everything. They clearly they have the pieces. Consistency has been the issue, and now you have a two week stretch or whatever it is to get consistent. Easier said than done. But the thing when you have Izzo and a lot of people that just jump in and parachute into college basketball, they end up picking Michigan State for whatever reason, right? Because they see them there every year and they they think, well, they must advance every year. Yeah. The common denominator is Izzo, because we could talk about the past, but these are not. There are always different players coming in and out. Izzo's the guy who leads this team, and if you get these guys to play consistently, which is, like I said, harder and it's easier said than done, they got a chance to knock off anybody. That Kansas State game last year was wild. That little 5'7 point guard was Noel or whatever. was I, uh, Without him, State advances. But you're going to run into players like that. You're going to run into teams like that. State, Tyson Walker needs to be that guy. Or whoever, right? I, I I like State to probably, I don't know, I'm so iffy. Well, Michigan State, I like them to advance at, you know, after the first but, round. The second round is where I'm I'm just not so sure I can trust them. Yeah, I'm not sure I even trust them in the first round game, to yeah, be no, honest with it's you. It's not like, like I don't feel 100% about it, but I think they get by. We've been sitting here carving paths all day, trying to talk about Oakland and Michigan State making runs. Michigan State had a stretch of games, started with when they beat Baylor. Then they beat Oakland University, which is a tournament team. So you know they're good. They beat Stony Brook. They beat Indiana State, which a lot of people thought was going to be a tournament team, and I'm sad they didn't make it with Larry Nerd. I thought there was a chance that they would be the darling of this tournament. They beat Penn State. There's five wins in a row. It's their only streak more than three all season long. you got to win four to get to the Final Four, and you're 100% right. The nature of this game, nobody will care what happened the last five months if they win four in a row right now. 